Their storm uh, was a big boon for our mountain resorts. It brought the snow they had been waiting for, and skiers and snowboarders didn't waste any time. Uh, look at our Dave Lopez out there. It's <laughs> great there. Neither did Dave. He's live at Mountain High in Wrightwood. Dave, how's the snow? You're looking good in your yeah. jacket. <laughs> <laughs> it is cold. If I had three other jackets to put on, I'd put them on. It is cold enough to snow, and that's what you see in front of me, these little tiny little snow flurries. It's, uh, it, it's very pretty. Very pretty if you uh, don't get your teeth chattering right now. Behind me, you can see the blanket of white, which is just a picturesque sight for many, many skiers, and it also means money in the pockets of the people who run these places, and boy, it is a very lovely sight, all this white. Finally, snowfall. Five to six inches in the local mountains, and as Drone Force 2 can show you, it left a sea of white. And just how good were the skiing conditions at Wrightwood? Powder runs, good jumps to hit, good company to ride with. Really? Blue skies, left early morning, beat the traffic, got up here, fresh powder runs, couldn't be better, brother. Well, you're in heaven. Heaven on a mountain. Snow on the mountaintop has its own beauty, and if you're a skier, well, it's what you pray for. I went to bed with a giant smile and just holding my pillow and just waiting just for this morning to come. And how is it? Beautiful. Yeah. Until this storm, it hasn't exactly been a season to remember if you depend on snowfall to bring in some income. But nothing makes it feel like winter like natural snow. We got four to six inches overnight, so it really feels like winter today. And another storm is headed our way come Thursday. No wonder all the ski resort operators in Big Bear and Snow Valley are grinning from ear to ear, just like they're doing here at Mountain High. In fact, we couldn't find anyone who didn't have a smile on their face. I'm ready to rock and roll. Have you had a chance to ski before this year? Oh, yeah. We actually skied in Montana. Okay, but I mean local. No, not local. This is the first time we're I mean, here. It's easier to go here than Montana. Oh, yeah, it is for sure. There's a lot of fluff up there, so it's cool. People who work at the resort were called at 5.30 this morning. Simple message. It's snowing. Get up here. I guess better late than never, ladies, or what? Absolutely. Yes, Absolutely. we love it. <laughs> Customers love it. Yeah. It's beautiful out. Yes. Gonna, expecting more? Come see us. The roads to Mountain High are wide open and the people kept coming. And Henry Macias just couldn't stop talking about how wonderful it was. It's like your own little puffy cloud just floating through and you, we hit some tables and some rails and so you could jump on it and it's just, you, you're just free falling. Just, it's just awesome. It's just wild. And under the storm will just make it better. And for the local kids who go to school up here, it was a snow day, a chance to go skiing. Instead of sitting in class. And you guys have your goggles and your mouth covered to hide your yeah. identity. Yes. <laughs> okay, have fun, guy. <laughs> yes, uh, hide their identity. I think if the forecast holds up, there'll be a snow day on Thursday and Friday, and the kids will love it. It should be a booming weekend. Uh, also, up here, they will have night skiing Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It came late, but, you know, skiing in the last part of February, early part of March, sounds good to everybody. Back to you. Yes, it does. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dave.